The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms outlines your rights as a Canadian individual and as part of keeping Canada a safe and equal society to live in. The second section of the Charter outlines your fundamental freedoms. You have the right to believe what you want, when you want, how you want. You have the right to practice these beliefs openly and loudly and nothing and no one can take these rights away from you or force you to deny your beliefs. You have the right to be part of any religious group, to live your religion, to leave any religion, and to believe or refuse to believe. You have the right to think what you want about what you want, to form an opinion, and to express it through any medium. No one has the right to force their opinion on you or to force you to think a certain way. However, there are restrictions that come with this right, as there are for every right. For example, a high school history teacher expressed horribly racist views against Jewish people to his classes and was charged with promoting hatred. He tried to counteract the charge by saying that he was using his freedom of expression. And, although the charge did violate his freedom of expression, Section 1 of the Charter explains that rights may be limited under certain circumstances. His hatred met those criteria, so the history teacher was charged anyway. You have the right to peaceful assembly. You have the right to meet up with other people and to join any association or group. You may stage a protest or march for a cause, such as the Terry Fox Run, but these must be carried out peacefully. So, you cannot, for example, stage a riot for any reason. You also have the right to associate or connect with other people. In other words, you have the right to talk to who you want and to be friends with whoever you want. Freedom of association includes the freedom to join a union, a political party, a school club, or a sports team. Certain groups are not allowed to join a union such as RCMP officers. In 1993, the Montreal Canadiens won their 24th Stanley Cup. That night, dedicated fans celebrated in the form of a riot. There were 168 people injured and $10 million in damages. Were the rights of peaceful assembly of the people who were charged violated? No, they weren't violated because a riot is not covered under the right of peaceful assembly. Section two of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms gives you the freedom of conscience and religion thought, belief, opinion, and expression, peaceful assembly, and the freedom of association. These fundamental freedoms and the entire Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms protects your rights as a person and is an essential part of being a Canadian citizen.